Hello, Liz here from Life in Canada <laughs> with the black flies. We're back with the black flies and our field of dreams. It's a field of dandelions we're keeping for the bees. Um, and Mr. John Deere Tractor Man, <laughs> my partner, he's, a, he's um, got the lawnmowers ready and he doesn't have permission to start anything right now. Um, as we need all the flowers for the bees that we can get and I have the horses behind me and there's black flies abound again. Well, they're not going to go away for a little while. They're here to stay. So here we are in paradise. And, um, you know, this is an area in the eastern part of Canada in Quebec. And we are in a valley. It's an Ottawa Valley. And we are filled with lakes, so many lakes around this area, rivers, tributaries, and everything leading to the ocean. And here we have lakes that lead into the Gatineau River. Gatineau River is a place that I'm going to be bringing you a lot to. It's, um, it's, it's like a, like you've just gone somewhere in a remote, beautiful, tropical place in summer. Um, it's just that there's there's no cottages. It, it feels like you're in crownland, parkland, and it's really something to see. So we'll be taking you there here. We're in our field with the horses who are out now because there's a breeze. And I think they're going to make a run for the barn soon because the bugs really get to them. I just wanted to show you a little bit. You'll be seeing this on and off. It's uh, the life here. It's, we're so lucky uh, to be able to have like the acreage that we do, really blessed. And we, we have some gardens that are going to get started soon. We're May 20, uh, we're hitting May 20 as soon. So usually the planting starts after the last full moon. So in this year, maybe it's going to be in June. We have a very short growing season here. Um, little microclimates here and there, but in our particular area, we're zone four at the luckiest. And this explosion of trees just about five days ago, it was not green. <laughs> it wasn't. The flowers weren't out of the dandelions. And, um, and it, it's just... It's an incredible feeling to be out here. Um, I know there's a lot of cottage country in this area. Um, this year, because of the rising house and land prices, like it's just skyrocketed. So it's really trick a trick and a half, like to um, being a seller's market, that's fine, but we can't find anything if somebody wanted to sell to buy. So it's really uh, a hard market right now. But it is, uh, like anything that was there has been pretty gobbled up. But there's room for so much more. Say like this is agricultural land and it's, um, we can't subdivide this. I'd like to, let's say, give a few acres to my niece and nephew. And, uh, but it's not doable. It's in a zoning of agriculture and it's really complicated. And we'll get more into little tips and processes in the real estate side of things along with many other things. So I just thought I'd share this with you today as I'm starting this channel. And um, yeah, so go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and uh, we'll keep you posted on all the, all the new little things that will surface because we're just starting out in spring, a time of renewal. We're having a retreat up in this area, an amazing retreat with horses and we do meditation with horses so many interesting things and the people that have come together uh, it's a beautiful community and here's Bailey whenever she sees a camera she's right in on it <laughs> yeah all right so I will sign off now and we shall meet again